Ladies and gentlemen, today I will be explaining tips in Phasmophobia, how to play it better, hiding spots, etc. So, for recommendations, I would recommend you either start on intermediate or amateur, more amateur, but if you are up for a little bit more of a challenge, do intermediate. If y I would recommend either 6 Tanglewood Drive, 13 Willow Street, or Ridgeview Court, maybe Edgefield Road, um, for maps that you can, like, like for starters, I'd recommend those, but if you want a challenge, pick the ones at the bottom. Those are more challenging. You get, you buy items and get items from here. In the shop, you just need to press plus on an item, and then you can buy it, and then you can add it. And then you ready up and start. You, you can see what items you had on the list on the right. You can go back in the video to see. There's like a list, and you can see what items you have. But, if you are new and you're starting alone, you are most likely going to start with the items that I'm going to show you once I load in. So, you are most likely going to start off with these items, if you're alone or... No. I would recommend you take these three thir first, or that, this, and that. Those are decent. But, you, I will make another video explaining, like, how you can use these items. Basically, if you want to find the ghost room, you need to find an interaction of some sort. Fingerprints, EMF, and activities, or anything. But, on certain difficulties, there's a cursed item that will spawn. The cursed items can vary between... A, a mirror, a music box, tarot cards, voodoo doll, um, monkey paw, a Ouija board, and summoning circle. Those all are a challenge. I will make another video explaining the item, the cursed items and locations on s some maps. There's a breaker always in a basement or in a garage in this map. And in this case, we got a Ouija board. I recommend, if you are wanting to find out where the ghost is right away, you can ask it some questions. I usually only ask one question, like, where are you? <clears throat> where are you? So it's not answering. Goodbye. My audio on? Oh my god, it's not. Okay. Where are you? Then it will answer. And in, in this case, it looks like it's in the living room. Yeah, it's in the living room. Goodbye. I would recommend, but every time. Um, you use a Ouija board. Say goodbye or the board will break and will start a hunt. The hunt can get you killed and other stuff. But it, it says that it was in the living room. So we know that it is now in this room. On, it, By the way, uh, the camera... The cameras can um, vary. Well, not the cameras vary. So right now, it's hunting. So here I was killed, which sucks, but anytime that you get killed, you want, or anytime really, you want to put in a ghost, because the level will end, like it just did, and you could possibly get some money. I guessed an Obake, because it was quick. In this case, it was a Hantu. So, you get evidence by, you get um, money from, well, every time the constants is photo, bone evidence, um, ghost type, and capture photo of ghost. Those are the four constants every time. If you get killed and, um, a friend of yours takes a picture of your body, they, uh, you will gain insurance and you will get the money that 
of the items that you lost that round, and you can purchase everything back. That's what the insurance is. Basically, you can get all your stuff back. Hope you guys enjoyed the ex this explanation.